when I look at his paintings and drawings, I'm just completely bowled over. I, I think it's because we get into the habit of thinking that sex was only invented a few years ago and that we're just wrestling with problems of sexuality and problems of gender. And there was a man who seemed to understand it far better than most people do nowadays. I'm always amazed by his genius for draftsmanship because you know he can he's a man who could take a line you could see the confidence and the passion and the accuracy but also an amazing amount of rigor and I think artists always struggle to have both those things together and I think he's someone who really found that. He portrayed the body not in its beautiful form not the ugly side but the real side because when you look at ourselves we look at our imperfections. He talks a lot about death in his paintings and I didn't really see that just by looking at the, at the pictures before. In his painting work a lot of uh, his psychology and the very mental states is uh, yes, yes. in his pictures. I think he's a very fascinating character and uh, it makes me really curious yes. to go into his yes. whole psychological uh, life experience which was very short but very very intense. He really showed everything about the body and that, at the time, was quite outrageous. Vienna must have been an amazing place at the time because it had people like um, Freud, it had Klimt, and it, it was the time when, you know, psychology and um, the kind of inner workings of the human psyche were really being explored. And I think there was a, a real challenge to the artist because not only did Sheila try to uh, copy the human frame, but he also tried to give us the sort of the psychic reality of the human frame.